All right, y'all, real quick, had a lot of people uh, asking, you know, how do you freeze your fur if you can't get it fleshed, okay? So obviously, uh, if you can skin it, skin it as soon as possible. That's, that's the best thing you can do. Now, if you're selling green or if you just don't have time to flesh it, um, you know, you can definitely freeze that fur. Now, I highly recommend if you're going to freeze your fur to freeze it before you fleshed it. Um, uh, don't flesh it and then freeze it. it you're going to have a hard time getting it thawed out and on a board, uh, you know, in a, in a timely enough manner. If you're going to have to freeze your fur, whether you're selling green, which is uh, basically skinned unfleshed, or you, you want to wait until, uh, uh, you know, a different time frame to flesh it, here's the best way to freeze your fur. Um, so I've got several, I've got, what, I've got a coyote, a coon, and a muskrat here I'll show you. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward, the same for everything, right? But So I got a coyote here, this thing's been skinned, um, the tail's been split on it, and, and we're gonna wrap this thing up basically to freeze. So what I like to do is kind of get him squared away where his top's up and his bottom's down, if that makes sense. Um, and then now this is obviously easier if you roll them up on a table, but what I like to do is I like to start at the, at the tail end here, roll his feet in, Okay, and then just start rolling them up. Just roll them up into a ball and then put his head, put his head right on top. Okay, put his head right on top just like that. This is the best way you throw that sucker in the freezer. Now, if you have to put them in a bag, make sure they're, they're dry because you don't want that condensation and that ice to build up in there. Uh, if at all possible, just go ahead and throw them in just like this. Uh, but if you have to put them in a garbage bag, you know, you sit next to your wife's, uh, you know, hamburger helper or whatever, um, you know, make sure this sucker is really dry. So that way, you know, you don't get a lot of ice and condensation buildup. Now, the reason that we wrap them up like this, and I'll show you here. So there's our coyote. Um, muskrats are basically the same thing here. We've got a, a little muskrat that we're going to, uh, you know, freeze, like I said, top up, bottom down, if not sideways, if that makes sense. Obviously make sure, you know, everything is dry. Um, once again, try to go, you know, flesh to flesh, not fur to flesh. Uh, and then, you know, just, just roll them up. Okay. With his head on top. So where he's looking at you like that. Same thing um, on coons here. We got a nice, nice big coon. You can see he's skinned out. Like I said, take the tail. I always tuck the tail in, throw the back legs in. Best I can, keep those legs inside. They'll freeze or burn the quickest because they're the thinnest. Uh, we're not that concerned about the head because that really has no value. But you roll them up just like this, okay? With his head on top. Now, the reason we do that is Depending on, you know, if you're going to sell green, a lot of times you want to thaw your fur out, you know, a day or two before you, you sell it. That way, you, you know, the, um, you know, your buyer can see what you've got. Or if you're going to flesh it, you know, you still got to thaw it out, obviously. So by putting the head on top, this thing is going to be a solid frozen block. Now, depending on how your temperatures are to, to thaw, you know, if you have, uh, you know, moderate temperatures, 55, 60 degrees, it's going to take a day to thaw this sucker out. Um, you don't want him to thaw out so quick that parts of them actually start going bad before all of them starts, you know, is thawed out, if that, if that makes any sense. So by, by taking these critters and putting their head on top of them, uh, you've got your nose attached. This will be the first thing to thaw out because it's on top. It's not inside here. This fur will, will insulate very well, uh, keeping it from thawing out. But what you could do is you can rig up some sort of a hook system or a hanging system. And after you pull this thing out of the freezer, just hook that nose onto something. It'll be, it'll be very easy. Now, what you have here is this thing will be a block of fur, but as it starts thawing out, because you rolled it up, it'll unthaw and it'll unthaw evenly as it rolls itself out. So I hope that makes sense. I get a lot of questions on it. Like I said, that is, that is my preferred way. If you're selling green, whatever, um, like I said, it, with the coyote, you know, obviously you've got a lot bigger critter. You can get his nose hung up and then as he thaws out, he'll roll himself out automatically. Gravity, 
gravity will just do the work and then you're thawing him out uh, at kind of as consistently as possible. Uh, you know, it's same way with the muskrat even. You know, these things aren't that big, but you know, it doesn't take much and like I said, roll them out. So anyway, I get a lot of questions on freezing fur. I know not everybody has the, the time allotment to do the whole process uh, all at once, or maybe, you know, you don't catch enough and you just kind of want to save, save stuff up until you get, you know, uh, a good quantity or, or whatever. So anyway, that's my preferred method to, to freeze fur, roll them up, make sure that face is out, put them on some sort of a hook and they'll fall out um, and they'll unroll and it's, it's just the easiest way to do it. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something from it, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, over 60% of the views on this channel come from non-subscribers. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that's not subscribed. Really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. If you do want to support this channel, hey, we've got we got some uh, really cool merchandise. We've got hoodies and, and t-shirts available. That'll be linked down below. You can also check out, I've got some... Uh, some other products uh, under my name. Uh, we've got uh, cable anchors for small game for dog proofs, one and a halves. Uh, we've also got uh, customizable beaver drowners. That'll all be linked down below. Check out those links. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, appreciate the view. We'll see you all in the next one.